Assalamu alaikum everyone and uh, welcome to the lecture of chapter 7 activated sludge system and this will be part 2 part 2 will be talking about the reactor design and uh, we will start to uh, to solve some equations and some uh, problems first let's have a look of the main uh, parameters uh, that is involved in the reactor design as we can see here. These are the two Components of the system. We have the aeration tank. We have the final clarifier in the influence uh, The Q is the flow the S node is the BOD of the influent and the X is the mixed leaker suspended solids uh, From the influent same goes to the aeration tank V is the volume and same goes to the final clarifier so this is the schematic of complete mixed reactor and later we will uh, we will give more details on these parameters and the equations derived okay first of all we have to achieve a mass balance in the system and we know that mass balance means the input equals the outputs okay so uh, for the system of activated sludge we will make two kinds of mass balance first mass balance of suspended solids which means the biomass which means the microorganisms okay so biomass in plus the biomass that has been grown in the active in the aeration tank should equal the biomass out okay the biomass out is the biomass uh, getting out of the with effluent plus the biomass which is uh, wasted as sludge okay so this can be um, uh, represented in the following equation biomass in is q naught times x q in meter cubic per day and x in kilogram per uh, in kilogram uh, i mean uh, per, per meter cubic per meter cubic okay so this will give us the concentration of biomass in or the rate of biomass in tank plus the biomass growth this uh, big parameter or the, uh, these parameters will give us the uh, biomass growth equals biomass out biomass out is the effluent which is q naught minus q wasted times x e x of the effluent plus q w times x u which is the wasted sludge the wasted sludge okay so q is the uh, flow rate meter cubic per day x is the biomass concentrations in the influent x node in the reactor is x in the effluent is x e and in the wasted sludge is x u uh, the bod is the soluble food or the substrate okay is represented as s node and s kilogram per meter cubic v is the volume of reactor and k is a constant where uh, KS, K node, KD, and each of them has its own uh, um, explanation as we can see here. Okay, so this is the mass balance of suspended solids. Now, let's make mass balance for the food, okay, for the substrates or for the BOD. Okay, now the BOD entering is different from the BOD which is going out. So, food in here we will. Uh, cut off the food consumed so this will equal food out or the remaining BOD okay so the remain the, the food in or the BOD in uh, the rate of BOD in which Q naught times S naught okay not X he will, here we will say S because we are referring to the substrate minus food consumed food consumed in the aeration tank so that's why we multiply by V okay and these parameters representing the food consumed equals food out food out is uh, one component in the effluent and one the other component is in the wasted sludge okay so this is the mass balance y is the decimal fraction of food mass converted to biomass and this is a new uh, uh, parameter here okay but here we have some assumptions this will make the design more easy more simple and more uh, practical so uh, the first assumption is that the influent and effluent biomass are negligible 
okay so we will concern only the biomass inside the tank inside the aeration tank okay we will not take into consideration the biomass uh, before the system or the biomass after the system i mean the influent and the effluent okay so those will not be taken into consideration the second assumption is that the influent food concentration s not will be immediately diluted to the reactor concentration which is the s final okay because of the complete mixed regime so here we will uh, we will consider or we will take uh, i mean we will consider that uh, the tank will be completely mixed and the bod final is always at the aeration tank in practice the bod final will not be from the first moment in the aeration tank otherwise we don't need high high retention time but this is just to the just to simplify the design so we will consider that is not will be converted immediately to s inside the tank okay and the third assumption is that all reactions will take place or will occur in the tank only which is we will not take into consideration any side reactions in the clarifier in the secondary clarifier okay so all the uh, the reactions will be only in the tank and therefore the volume v represents the volume of the reactor only i mean of the aeration tank only not the secondary treatment okay so v in all the equations v is the volume of aeration tank okay now taking into consideration these uh, assumptions the previous assumptions so uh, equation 7 1 and equation 7 2 will be uh, modified i mean will be changed so in equation 7 1 uh, the term containing uh, x node and x e will be omitted and equation 7 2 will be rearranged so 7 1 and 7 2 will be changed to 7 3 and 7 4 uh, respectively so um, as we can see here and joining or combining 73 and 74 because they have um, they have similar parameters so <clears throat> so uh, 75 will be uh, generated equation 75 it is also one of the most important equations in the design of uh, activated sludge system so continuing with the uh, now let's continue i mean with the uh, design equations so the hydraulic detention time in their aeration tank in the reactor is t equals v over q naught the mean cell residence time this is also called the sludge retention time it is or the sludge age or the average time that the sludge or the microorganisms spend in the reactor okay the how much time the sludge spend in the aeration tank this is the tc as you can see here okay and substituting equation 76 and 77 into equation 75 in the previous uh, slide so we will have 78 78 also one of the most uh, important equations in the uh, design of activated sludge systems now the concentration of biomass in the reactor which is the mixed liquid suspended solids is found by solving the equation 7.8 and that gives us the equation 7.9 as we can see here and then the volumetric loading rate volumetric loading rate which is the mass of bod in the influent divided by the volume of the reactor which is how much kilogram of bod is applied for each one meter cubic of the aeration tank how much each one meter cubic of the aeration tank holding from the bod as kilograms as kilograms as a mass okay so uh and finally the food to microorganism ratio this is i mean this ratio is to maintain a stable condition or a, a perfect condition inside the aeration tank okay there has to be such balance between the food and the microorganism okay so the fm ratio uh, can be calculated using equation 7 11 and finally the recirculation ratio okay and which means how much 
uh, is the portion of the uh, waste that has to be uh, recirculated uh, and the other portion will be wasted as uh, waste sludge okay so r equals qr over q this graph shows us the relationship between the uh, consumption of food and the biomass growth and you can see here the biomass growth curve is uh, very similar to the uh, to the bacteria growth curve that we have uh, 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 taken or discussed in chapter uh, two i think yeah so we have here the lag phase and the log phase stationary phase and then the indigenous phase if there is no such feeding so no such continuous uh, continuous uh, operation so this is just for one cycle of operation okay let's have an example so uh, the example says we have an activated slush system this is going to be used for secondary treatment of 10,000 meter cubic per day of municipal wastewater so this is the q node okay after primary clarification the bod is 150 milligram per liter this is the s node the food the substrate and it is desired to have not more than five milligram per liter of bod in the effluent so this is the s or the s in the final effluent okay a completely mixed reactor is to be used and a pilot plan analysis has established the following kinetic values which is y kd okay y and kd assuming the mixed leaker suspended solid concentration of 3000 milligram per liter okay so the underflow concentration of 10,000 this is x u under underflow concentration concentration of what of x okay 10,000 mg 10,000 milligram per liter for the secondary clarifier okay so this is x u this is x u 10,000 so determine the volume of the reactor the mass and the volume of solids waste each day and the recycle ratio Okay, let's have a look at the solution first we can calculate the volume in order to calculate the volume we can use this equation 1 over TC equals uh, the rest of the equation as you can see but TC is not known so we can assume the value of TC so select TC equals 10 days okay solving equation the, the previous equation with TC equals V over Q we know that TC equals V over Q and TC is 10 days so we can uh, we can calculate the value of V okay now we know that um, we know that okay uh, uh, substituting sorry substituting the equation I mean TC and in the above equation okay we can have the value of V so V is 1611 meter cubic okay so here we have equation we have TC equals 10 days and then we apply the equation as above then we got the value of V and you see using the equation 7 7 in the previous slides okay we have TC equals VX over QWXU QWXU this term okay this term represents the solid wastes per day okay the sludge wasted per day we can calculate it as a mass and we can calculate it also as a volume okay so calculating as a mass it is V times X over TC V is 1611 X is 3000 and we substitute as 3 because it has to be in kilogram not in in kilogram per uh, uh, per sorry in kilogram per meter cubic okay not milligram per liter over tc which is 10 days and that gives us the 483.3 kilogram per day okay the volume of solids in terms i mean we can calculate the qwxu as a volume as a volume so we have to divide by xu and we know xu equals 10 
so uh, I mean 10,000 so we substitute X or we divide the QWXU this value divided by XU which is 10 okay so the 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 answer I mean the volume of solids per day which is like it's like a flow so it's 48.3 meter cubic per day now in order to uh, calculate the the recirculation uh, flow okay or recirculation ratio so let's construct a mass balance for the final clarifier as we can see at the bottom of the screen we have uh, uh, this is the the influent and effluent of the final clarifier so uh, we can say that input equals output so the input is q node plus qr and all will be multiplied by x okay so this is the biomass input and the biomass output is uh, first is q node minus qw times xe and then plus qr plus qw times xu we can see here those are the two uh, parameters okay uh, but we know that uh, xe will be omitted because it, it goes to zero okay so the equation will be converted to uh, I mean will be um, rearranged like this q naught plus qr times x equals qr plus qw times xu so we can calculate the value of qr so qr equals 10,000 this is uh, the value of x times uh, times 3 uh, times uh, 3 okay uh, sorry a qr uh, this is the, the value of uh, 10,000 is the value of q naught okay times x minus 483.3 Okay, divided by 10 minus 3 this is um, uh, these are the values of uh, x so this will be equal to 4 to 1 7 meter cubic per day we know qr and we previously we know the value of q so we can calculate the recirculation ratio r equals qr over q which is 0 0.42 so 42 percent we can say that 42 percent of the uh, wasted sludge will be recirculated to the uh, to the tank that is the end of part two and later on we will continue in part three thank you